que esse cara quer? Aí, pela camisa, hein? Tu perdeu o cuzão, amigo. Hey, are you lost? In more ways than I could possibly explain. I know you. At the disco, with the gun. Yeah, you had hair back then and better clothes. Uh, Anders Dedling from Steel, North Dakota. Why on earth are you here? Well, I'm, uh, looking for someone. What are you doing here? Oh, we, we came to help the cause. See, after I retired, my wife, she said I had to do something. And, well, you know, I always loved kids, so I got involved in Angels of the Hill. Oh, it's a great cause, and they're really great folk, and, well, now we come down twice a year to help inoculate the children of the favelas. Yeah, oh, it's simply wonderful giving back. Whole family does it. In fact, my, my little girl's coming in a couple of days. Aren't you afraid? Ah, I was a cop for 25 years. And granted, Steel ain't San Paolo, but, you know, I seen things. And people are the same everywhere, good, bad, and different. Listen, have you heard anything about a, a woman about 28, rich? She was kidnapped. I heard she was being held around here. No. All right, well, good luck. All right, you too. You look like you need it. I gotta get back at it. Hey, right, I'll say a prayer for you. Serrano, the man of the hour. Had De Silva left this there on purpose as some passive-aggressive message to the CS from a cop who was apparently too scared to go near any real criminals? It was a strange power play. That comforting smell of secondhand beer and exploitation. Relax, soldier. You're American? Oh, jeez, buddy. Am I glad to see you? Oh, fuck me. I've been coming to this shithole town for the last five years. It's like a fucking insane asylum. But it's got the cheapest pussy in the world. Well, fuck me. I mean... You're in a cat house in the slum, pal, doing who knows what. I'm a businessman, bro. And they were fully legal in this country, I, th I think. And, and I know how to tip, all right? It ain't my fault, man. It ain't my fault. Don't, don't judge me, all right? Have a nice day. I was getting nowhere fast. The cold turkey was messing with me, like I was looking through another man's eyes. I needed to focus. These bastards look different, tougher, more capable. They didn't look like Serrano's boys, but I could tell I was moving up the food chain. I hoped Fabiana wasn't going to be served up come feeding time. Say what you want about these hoods. They knew more about branding than a Madison Avenue art director. Tropa Z. Se 
Soccer had gotten Claudio away from the favela, but it hadn't gotten him far enough. I couldn't imagine his death had done much to boost the CS's approval ratings in that part of town. Giovanna, charity worker and socialite. Work with the poor and play with the rich. You try to live in two worlds. Eventually, you're gonna get your life ripped apart. Assos had told me about this stuff. Oxidado. They called it rust. Packed full of healthy ingredients like quicklime and kerosene. Cheaper, stronger, and deadlier than crack. Easily marketed to the poor and desperate. All in all, a fine, honorable way to earn a living. I was definitely in Commando Sombra territory. If Fabiana was still alive, she couldn't be far away. <laughs> 